Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, providing you with our regular monthly update. We select a multi-unit property that is sold and provide you with a financial breakdown of it to give you an idea of what uh, people are willing to pay on these buildings. So this month what we did is we selected a three-unit building in the Hintonburg Mechanicsville area that sold in October of 2020. So getting right into it, this building, um, a three-unit triplex, it was listed for one million ninety thousand dollars and it sold for one million even now it was not fire retrofit um, the scheduled rental and by the way these numbers I'm going to give you I'm going to round them off a bit so they may be a little bit different than what you're seeing on your screen uh, so the uh, scheduled rental income on the property was about sixty two thousand dollars the effective rental income after we deduct three percent for vacancy and bad debt was about sixty thousand five hundred and that and and the uh, operating expenses on that, by the way, were uh, 11700 So the total operating expenses, when we account for uh, management and maintenance fees, would be almost $18,000. So that leaves us with an NOI of almost $43,000 and therefore a cap rate of about 4.3%. Uh, kind of what you would expect for this neighborhood uh, as well, but if it's in really good condition, maybe even less. So the operating expense ratio was really quite good at 29%. It sold for a gross, uh, a gross multiple of 16 times, and that's uh, maybe a little bit higher than average, and a net multiple of 23 times, which is about normal. You know, I expect to see uh, 20 to 23, 24, so those numbers seem to be in line where it could be indicative that the purchaser actually has a positive cash flow. So let's find out. So if we go by the rule of thumb of having a 35% down payment, uh, that's $350,000 the buyer would have had uh, to, to have paid up, leaving the individual with a mortgage of $650,000. So the annual debt service, that's how much his mortgage payments would be over a year, would be $3,000. Now a caveat I'll add to that is that I used a 3% mortgage rate and I think that most people in this game by now know that you can probably get it for about 2% or a tad less. So these numbers would even be a little bit more profitable uh, for, for the uh, buyer. Anyhow, using 3% on that mortgage, $3,000. Um, the annual debt service, when you extrapolate that out to the entire year, is almost $37,000, which leaves the new owner with a positive cash flow of almost $6,000. So their ROI is 1.7%. So for their investment of $350,000, that individual is making 1.7%. That's what happened in Hintonburg last month. Now, if you enjoy these things, uh, see the subscribe uh, button at the bottom.